Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I want to talk about Joe Biden. And, well, recently he seems to have made himself even more controversial than he did before. And I'm going to ask a few questions here. But one of them is, what the fuck is the Democrat Party doing with this guy being in charge? Let alone his skin colour. Let alone he won against Grandpa Grumpy Face. Let alone anything fucking else. Well, after he made that very contradictory thing on the TV breakfast show, You Ain't Black, you know, You Ain't Black, or whatever the fuck that was, he, he's even said something even worse to the black majority, and even right now is a fucking worse time to say anything bad about black people or any other colour. Just to blur that line up, it's just a bad idea. And for Joe Biden to come out what he said today, pretty well well that day he it's questionable so we're going to talk about what he said then and what he said before what i want to talk about before is when he said that famous line you ain't black on the american tv show which apparently the major audience is african-american let's go and take a look at when he said that on the tv show i'm figuring out whether you're for me or trump and you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. I would love to see Take you. Take a look at my record. You ain't black if you don't vote for me, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, I, it's actually just quite easy to see it now. Because I, apparently a lot of uh, black voters in America get told... To vote for Democrat, and if they go Republican, they're going against their own generation, or they're going against their own minority, or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves now. Like they're going against their own race. I'll call it that. And for Joe Biden to go on that show and say, "You ain't vote for me. You ain't black." <laughs> fuck hell. You guys are stupid, or you guys are really desperate for the Democrats to win. But the thing is. The Democrats are the one party that's been putting you in the fucking shitty positions for so long, like the segregation thing, the fact that you can't go to certain schools because of your wealthy area, you can't just choose where you want to go your fucking cell. You know, you guys don't help yourselves. I mean, I would appreciate it more if you guys helped yourselves more, but I'm, I'm not saying by the voting terms, just in fucking general. But... If we're talking about voting terms, how the fuck is this your candidate? Like, you ain't black. I'm sorry. That is just really fucking stupid. And this is supposed to be a president or future president? You ain't vote for me because I'm an old white man with all my old white man stuff and used to do old white man things and soak cigars and Cuban things and what the fuck I can think of next. And you ain't black. What the fuck? <laughs> but there was also another controversy thing he said, which was even fucking worse. I mean, I don't even know how I'm going to get my head around this. I mean, UK is in shit right now, but that pissed me off, right? He said that the death of George Floyd affected the world. Let me get my quote. The death of George Floyd's death did not have the same worldwide impact as the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. But even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's mm -hmm. death did. The head of the civil rights movement for black Americans in America. When that man gave everything up for his rights, for black people's rights in America, how fucking dare you? From day one, he, when he knew he started speaking out, he knew he was in trouble. And many black Americans knew that the fucking same. And a lot of people look at Martin Luther King as a bloody legend. He stormed... In, like peaceful marches, he put, protested against the 
black people getting affected by like a minority not getting the equal rights good fucking job because if you look at how bad it was some people were affected worse than others but the thing is some people were different than other people it was fucking different but martin luther king was that one stature and everyone recognized dr martin luther king as this one legendary man who basically paved the way for black lives in around the world he gave them more rights than they could ever fucking dream they were like normal americans it was fucking unbelievable but to say the death of a criminal i know this criminal george floyd which should put a gun against a pregnant woman's stomach just for one of those crimes to be higher the guard than Martin Luther King? You are fucking stupid! And then I ask again, what does the Democrats actually got? What is the actual choices you have here? Old white dude with racist intent and shitty candidates. You might as well get Trump again if he's that fucking bad. It is absolutely insane. I mean, I don't... It took me a good half an hour just to figure out what I wanted to fucking say in this little video here. Because how dare you criticize what Martin Luther King did, his assassination, his ideals, his things, everything he did for the civil rights movement out the fucking window. It's out the window, in the trash bin, and set on fire. Just like that one in, I saw this post on. Well done, Antifa. You did that well on that one. But if he's on, if Joe Biden is on about the impact of George Floyd's death causing the fucking outrage, I still don't know what that is because all this outbreak and this disaster isn't to do with George Floyd anymore. It it can't be. If this is what, well, well, if, well, that. Let me, let's think about it. If one black guy dies, the entire United States falls. But when this guy, which is a criminal, which got killed by a white cop, during the same situation where the other cops, one was an Asian one, and one was a black cop, and one was a Hispanic cop, but the white cop got told off. And that causes chaos for Britain and America. Probably more America than Britain because shit over here too. What in your right fucking mind is this your supposed to be next president? This is Black Obama's lane all over again. Medicare over again. Fucking stupid this is. Well, Obamacare, sorry. But, uh, I don't get it. But how dare you criticize Martin Luther King's journey, his efforts, his progress to that. And just to show this off at the end, I'm going to show that one legendary speech Martin Luther King did. And honestly, it's actually one thing I hold up to. I'm not racist, but... If I have to keep one thing from the past, is to keep what Martin Luther King said here. Thank you. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. 
This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racists, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. Yeah. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. And every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day with all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, 
Let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. From every mountainside. Let freedom ring and when we capital. When we allow freedom ring. When we let it ring from every village and every hamlet. From every state and every city. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!